Hey everybody, this is another episode of Two Pastors in a Car Chick-fil-A. I'm Andy Barnes, and with Peter Radford. And today we are going to consider five ways that we can be a witness for Jesus. And this is just something fundamental to living as a Christian in the world. And so uh, we want to consider today how we can be a witness for Jesus in our everyday lives. All right, so uh, the first way that we want to recommend that you share Jesus, the witness for Jesus, is to consider who God has put in your life. Um, in studying the scriptures, we see uh, people sharing Christ with the people around them. And so we want you just to be thinking, who has God put in my life? So whether that's someone you see on a regular basis, you get a, a haircut somewhere, you see someone um, at a restaurant regularly, just whoever that is, that's the person that you should start trying to share Christ with. Yeah, absolutely. The second one is just to build bridges with love and kindness. And what we mean by that is just the, the people that uh, we have relationships with or that even we may just beginning to form relationships with. It's all our efforts in evangelism fundamentally is about uh, building those kinds of bridges with people and showering people with the love and kindness that we have been shown uh, from Christ. And so just living that way uh, in the face, in, the, in front of people uh, day to day. One of the big objections I hear uh, to sharing Christ is people say, I don't know what to say. I won't know what to say. And so number three is meant to address that. Um, you should use your story to tell the story. So just tell people what Jesus has done for you. If you have a relationship with Christ where Christ has changed you, just tell people about that. They might ask you a question and you don't have the, the perfectly uh, catered uh, or cultured uh, theological answer. That's okay. Just tell them what he did for you. And that'll be an effective way for you to share uh, Christ and to witness for him. Yeah, now one of the more discouraging parts of our efforts and being a witness for Christ is not seeing results. Uh, we've been sh attempting to share Christ. We've been praying for certain individuals for a long time, sometimes years upon years, and there's no evidence, uh, in our, at least in our uh, understanding, of any kind of fruit in their lives. To keep, a re keep a in mind that the results are not up to us. It is God's, uh, it is God's part to change people's hearts. We don't change hearts. And so keep that in mind. Our, our uh, objective is to be faithfully sharing Christ with people. God, God and only God can change people's hearts. This last one is uh, something of a game changer. Um, and we think if you follow these, this last step, it'll, it'll really change things quite a bit. And what we want to say is that we want you to show them the gospel, mm -hmm. show them before you tell them. Yeah. And so uh, what we're suggesting there is that by your manner of life, the way that you live, and treat people and show kindness to those in need and love people who need it. When you live that way, um, boy, it's just a very short step to share the message of Jesus and uh, what he has done for them. So we encourage you to show them uh, before you tell them. Amen. Well, that's that's uh, this episode of Two Pastors in a Car Chick-fil-A. We hope you were uh, helped and blessed by it. And we, uh, want to encourage you now to go and be witnesses for Jesus. All right. Have a great week.